We were thrilled today to be able to open our new welding facility, to do a ribbon cutting, welcome some folks that have been big supporters, everybody that's worked so diligently to make sure our students have the best so that they can go out and improve the workforce here in Dare County and the surrounding areas. When we're able to do workforce development, it improves everything in the community. We have the ability to keep our students here. They are able to graduate from a local high school, stay at COA, get training, and go into the workforce and improve the economy. We are the community's college, so our job is to make sure that we improve outcomes, whether it's college transfer outcomes or workforce development outcomes. I'm just excited because our students in our high schools have the opportunity to take courses at COA during their high school years. Uh, we've just had a tour of the facility, the welding room, it's fabulous. Uh, our tour was led by a young man who is a student at First White High School. Jed Dixon from the Ferry Department was in there offering him a job. So call me when you get out of the program because we need you. I'm thankful for the partnerships that have been established between Dare County College of the Albemarle and Dare County Schools. College of Albemarle is very important to the Board of Commissioners. We have always been a staunch supporter of education. We've even stepped up to the plate and offered a guaranteed scholarship program for our graduating seniors, not only to participate in the technical trades, but to also get an associate's degree from COA. The demolition is going on right now for the old middle school, and that'll continue. And when that's completed, we will be building a state-of-the-art two-story, 36,000-square-foot facility. This is huge for Dare County. It's huge for Manio. It's certainly going to put education in the forefront in the, in the future for us. In that building, and have general education classrooms, some additional nursing facilities, and some uh, computer labs. But we also need the workforce development piece and what we have in the building here in this wonderful state-of-the-art welding facility is part of the workforce development piece that we'll be bringing to Dare County and improving as we go forward. I'll take you back about um, three years ago. I found a guy named Jeff Spears. Uh, Jeff is our welding instructor. When I first arrived here in 2014, this lab was empty. So we turned it into an industrial welding program, and now we have a waiting list. We've had a waiting list for the last couple of years, and that's because of Jeff Spears. The word is out. You have to take Jeff Spears' class.